one of the things we talked about there is just what it's like to be a part of a community of innovation. Yes. And would you, you know, how would you say that sort of community and you know cultural community, supportive community, your peers, people that are doing the same thing you do, how important is that? to success so I so I said I'm a recovering attorney I'm also a recovering lone ranger lone ranger I'm a recovering (laughs) lone ranger like I was that person that thought you know I was I was I've done a lot of writing so I kind of personally identify as a writer and writers tend to be solitary because it's a hard thing to do yes think deeply and write deeply Uh um, in a big crowd of people and so I've spent a lot of time in my life kind of trying to put myself into these like situations where I step away from the crowd and do this thing. But then there are these ideas that you have that are big enough and life changing enough for you and for the rest of the world. And there's just a place where you hit where you can't you can't you bring can't that to it. life yeah. on your own. You cannot do it on your own. And so what I've done is like the last few years I've worked on several projects where I'm like, I can't do it on my own. I actually went to Behance. I think we were both yep. there last year. Um, and, uh, oh, I can't think of the guy's name, but he was Scott, talking Scott about... Belsky. Scott Belsky. Scott yeah. was talking about you know, the, the founder, power of yeah. communal forces. Scott Belsky is the founder of uh, Behance, yeah. which is uh, subsequently acquired by Adobe, but Behance is a network for creatives. Um, yeah, what was he, he yeah, was talking so about? Yeah, he was talking about how to you know bring your creative ideas to life. And he was encouraging people to harness the power of communal forces. And so I like kind of went home and I was like really thinking about this, right? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take my biggest ideas and I'm going to harness the power of communal forces. Nice. And stuff started happening happening at a scale that I just one person cannot do. And so I think for those of us who have had whatever traumas and traumas with offices and you know, I had been a lawyer, so I'd had some kind of, I know. You turned out okay. You pulled pulled through. I know. We really shouldn't tell people. (laughs) (laughs) Um, what happens is I started putting my ideas out there and working with people who were also like in similar spaces and had similar spirits for yeah. helping people the way that I did. And it just, it's just this thing, you can't even stop it. Then you yeah. start attracting into your life and into your business and into your projects people yeah, look, who are amazing. And yeah. there's so many of them out there. And if I could start to interject sure. there. But the, the craft of creating whatever it is you're creating whether you're a photographer or a designer a musician a producer like Dana Brunetti who was just sitting here being good at your craft is absolutely essential mm-hmm. to, to achieving some however you however you um, define success it's nice to have the actual skills yes. whatever that thing is but I think what the world doesn't realize and, and one of the things I want to make sure the folks at home understand is that there's a whole ecosystem that is almost required for success. Again, success, I'm not going to go there to define it. But, right. But uh, photographers, they certainly need help with business stuff, you know, and mm-hmm. the secrets of Silicon Valley. Um, networking classes, how to get along and how to create community. At Porter Gale, who did a class on your network is your net mm-hmm. worth. Um, there's this, uh, the community aspect of making things. Because making things is messy and it's never Absolutely. a straight line is the community part is so powerful. Well, so far. especially in, you know, in the in the valley, which is where I work mostly. Mm-hmm. You can have the most amazing product ever, but if no one ever uses it, right. <laughs> you're never going to get that feedback <laughs> that allows you to iterate right. and optimize from your like minimum viable product you know, lean startup style to the brilliant thing that you could create. And that's what marketing is about, yeah, right? Sure. And that's what I do is like make sure that um, enough of what your product is and, and how it's communicated about um, sort of triggers and, and helps your target user self-identify as people who could benefit from this. To tell a story. We had uh, Josh Elman from Greylock Partners. Was yeah, talking. he's actually going to be at this event. I'm, I'm awesome. co-chairing. Awesome. Yeah. So he was talking about two great two things that he looks for is one uh, just a magical product experience and then two is the ability to explain it you know through written words or through UI or whatever mm-hmm. how to use your product in a way I'll just say communicate about it that's in a right. way that's understood that's right. and again for creatives where this is whether you're you're just picking up a camera and you want to you know get your next camera and you like to take pictures of your kids and then you want to take pictures of that's right your friends' kids, or whatever. Like, if wherever you are in your process, or if you're a full-time professional, uh, I guess there's just there, there's these 
fundamental principles of being able to communicate about your idea as mission critical. And you've got to, you've spent plenty of time in, in that part of the I world, have. right? I feel like with creatives in particular, sometimes the, the sort of more brilliant the creative, the more stigma they hold around self marketing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. think people like the word self promotional sounds awful. Yep. And it sounds like the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but you know, it's like, it's all part of the art. It, it really is. is. Like you can't get the art done. You can't get your life funded and your ability, your your abilities focused <coughs> I said earlier, your actual you're, work you're without not necessarily, that. You're not necessarily making work so you can go buy a couch or right. a refrigerator <laughs> or, you know, take your friends out to dinner. At least it starts out. I mean, that's a nice end. Right. But most of the folks that I know, and I can speak for myself, it's like, you wanted to make money so you could make more art. That's the whole you know? thing. And there's this self-perpetuating cycle. Ultimately, if it's benevolent and can kick That's some extra right. money out to, uh, to help That's you buy a couch, not not that a couch is like, I, don't know, <laughs> I like that the couch. couch is now the, <laughs> the um, way the, the I, uh, barometer of, of wondrous <laughs> creative success. <laughs> when I make it, I'll buy a couch. 